All right, that's fine. We can continue. What are you doing? Nothing. Oh, okay. That's why I'm making sounds. <coughs> All right. <coughs> Such happens. <coughs> Ow. You see that? Standing up to Griff has made him harsh. More severe. He could have killed you. But what you did, the strength you showed us, you looked like yourself again. No, oh, Phoenix left. It was good to see. I couldn't just stand by and let Griff punish you. Damn the consequences. And I'll do it again. A thousand times. I know you would. And when you're better, things will be different. Did Phoenix say she was leaving, or did she just leave? I don't know. I asked Ethan not Kate, to change Can't remember, not... sadly. Katie's not I tried here to make either. him promise me. I now know that was childish of me. I'm ready to change now. I'm willing to do anything to help our family. I mean it, Roderick. I don't care what. That's good. I'm sure a time will come when our house will call upon you to do what's necessary. But that time is not now. And I'm sure the others will do whatever it takes as well. What you did? Provoking Griff, it hasn't taken our house to war just yet, but... No one can know the future. Whatever tomorrow brings, Talia, foresters will stand tall. I think whoever wrote the dialogue for the scene also wrote the... I can't believe it. ...dialogues in the dialogue in um, the final Wolf Among Us episode. Hmm? Why you say that? <coughs> it's about on par with cheesiness. <laughs> Woo, the scene! Yeah. After everything, we just I, I, I'm keeping the degree. Yep, you can do that. <laughs> I'm gonna hold on to it. Yeah, I can see both the value of holding on to it as well as getting rid of it. <coughs> so, Asher Forrester. I should probably it's, not. It's have... an interesting thing, really. My I should probably not have gone all out Choose with the laughing your words before. Carefully. Oh well, I'll see what happens, eh? Yeah. And that's the end. Do we have to sit through the end credits? Just let me watch the end. <laughs> no, I mean the end credits. Like, are the credits skippable? Is my question. Oh, yeah, they should be. Most oh, games have skippable credits these days. Tell me. Brit's death was an accident. Mira, what are you doing? Mira, just tell me what's going on. What are you hiding from me? Oh, well. Woo! We have no allies. And Griff will make us pay for your defiance. There's been a raven from Lord Whitehill. He's invited us to High Point. Drogon wouldn't have attacked without reason. By order of the Queen. Fuck you and your queen. Deal with your friends. Nothing ever stays in the pond special. <clears throat> Carried. It's time to go. All right, let's look at our choices. I and 51.7% saved Beska. I and 50.2% obeyed Marjorie and avoided Tyrion. I and 10.8% made Brit suffer? Okay. Hmm. I and 31.9% stood up to Griff. And I and 68.9% kept the Ironwood Decree. Interesting. Thoughts? Mm, that seems about right. <clears throat> All right. Uh, no, nothing I need to say there. Nothing I haven't already <coughs> said. It is okay. interesting how 50-50, um, though, it's split on the Beska thing, the first one. That, that's interesting. Well, that's because it's only two choices. And also the whole Marjorie and Tyrion. I would have thought more people would, wouldn't want to piss off Marjorie. But also people like Tyrion. Yeah, I guess so. Uh... Tyrion's literally the best character. And it is, like, right before he gets accused. Yeah. So, yeah.
Man, chat's like died. Where is everyone? No idea. So sad. Chat, please. Yeah, chat's died. Yep. Bye bye, chat. Yeah, Phoenix left after we stopped talking about my nephew. Mm. <clears throat> okay, no, I cannot skip these credits. Well, no offense, that's a little bit stupid in game design. I mean, yes, I know it's based off a TV show, and TV shows have credits that you can't skip, but this is a game. <laughs> Chat is game here in the should form of one and weird do person. have different rules. <laughs> Alright, Twitchy Cookies is here, so yay. Woo. Woo! I thought you could only be here for two minutes, Twitchy. Twitchy lied! Kill him! <laughs> hey, well, you know, Twitchy's a she. <laughs> or a he she. Or a I... not gender, because those are <coughs> this male. I don't actually remember because I haven't talked to Twitchy in a while. Mm. No, I'm sorry. I have no idea who Twitchy Cookie is. Uh, I mean, in real life. Obviously, that... you're a person. One of Ashley's mates. Uh, yeah, that would explain why I don't know who you are. Yeah. Yeah. I might be getting I might be getting Twitchy Cookies confused with Cookie Cutter, who is a woman. But yes. Sorry, Twitchy, if I offended you. You offend everybody. <laughs> uh. At least once or not. <clears throat> You're not doing something right unless you've made a few enemies. <laughs> All right. Oh, no, no, the saying is you, you haven't stood up for anything unless you've made a few enemies. Alright, Twitchy so, is actually, a guy. Yeah. Okay, then. Twitchy is a guy! And no, right. no, I do not want to sign into my Telltale account. Nope. I'm pretty sure Cutter is female, Twitchy. Or, or again, I might be thinking of someone else because I'm fucking stupid. Oh, well. Let's begin episode four. If you're talking about Cutter in the game, no, Cutter, the guy. someone else, and his name oh, is oh, oh, that Cutter that you just mentioned. Yeah, and his name is Cotter. Uh, can we have a lunch break? <laughs> I'm getting hungry. Yeah, all right. <laughs> One second, let me go back to the main menu then. Woo, lunch break. Yeah. Uh, game... Uh, oh, of course! I want to go back to the main menu and so the game takes forever to fucking load. Of course! Yeah. It knows what you're thinking. Yeah. Game Y! Can we make it quick, though? Because cleaners are coming at 2.30. Um... Please? Funny thing is, I actually eventually have to study today. When are you going to study? Um, this afternoon, um... Time? Uh, sooner the better. Well, I'm we'll getting be... hungry. <laughs> Alright, but we have to be done before 2.30. Uh, I could just not join you for episode 4. That would be a bit mean of me. <laughs> yes, it would. It would be horrible. Yes. How about this? I, I drop my call, I go eat lunch, and you carry on, and I'll join in and chat. Yeah, okay. Does that sound good enough? Yep. All right. And then then I can at least attempt to do some study on the side. <laughs> okay. Or in that I, case... I've got a reasonably important test due on Thursday, so i kind of oh, got to study much. for it. Yeah, <laughs> Alright, then we're going to take a quick break. About... Oh, Twitchy, we're in New Zealand, you silly person. <clears throat> it's 12, 16 p.m. right now. <laughs> So we're gonna take a quick break, and I'll I'll leave the game open so you have something to look at. But I uh, will see you when you get back in about ten minutes. Hi. Bye. -bye.
And we're back! Or rather, I'm back. Jinx is off eating and then studying. So now, let's begin episode four. Ha ha ha. Do the dead frighten you? <clears throat> Man, remember last time I tried entertaining you guys by myself? That didn't go well. Previously on Game of Thrones. My father is planning to make a move against your family. He knows all your weaknesses, all your plans, because you have a traitor in your council. He's been sending a great deal of gold to someone in King's Landing. We were told we'd be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. That's enough, Andros. Lord Grove? That's just some shit story for little kids. I've heard stories. Old tales of a secret forest within a forest. Well, on the plus Lord, side, there won't be as much talking of the dialogue now. <laughs> People round here call wildlings. My true name is Sarah. Flowers. You're a bastard? It means a lot to be able to share that with someone. Someone I can trust. And if it isn't Elena Glenmore, you're not still marrying into this wretched family. Perhaps we'll remain allies after all. It's a long journey to Marine on foot. Marine? Thanks, Cookies. What? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. If you presume to speak of my dragons, you best choose your words carefully. <laughs> Gonna be a good little forester, learn your lesson, and stay down. Fuck you, Griff. Don't think this is over, Roderick. The foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Take the boy as your ward. Kill him if they give you any trouble. Oh, even Ashley's left. I never did tell you about your father, did I? You bled him at first, like a pig. <laughs> He's dead. He's a shit. I knew you were a killer. The day you arrived. Seems Brit found out too. Now they all see it. What sort of brother you really are. I'm afraid you've got the wrong man. I was further along the wall at Don't the... you stand there and fucking lie to me, boy. Somebody pushed that man off a 700 foot wall. No, oh, that is not what I you expected. You told I was me going what to you did to get here. Oh well. We both know you had blood. I thought I was gonna accuse him of being now, like the one who murdered my family. One of your brothers. Oh well. You'll lose your head for this time. <clears throat> You'll be disgraced, dishonored, and burned till there's nothing left of you. You won't execute me. With Mance Raider coming, the Night's Watch needs all the men it can get. Honest men. Loyal men. Not brother killers. There's only one thing to be done with you now. Hey, Frostfinger. I saw what Garrett did to Brit last night. I was there. My relief was late, so I stayed behind. I saw everything. Go on, then. Yeah, he was there. Then go on. What did you see, boy? It wasn't Garrett's fault. We were on watch when Brit just attacked him. Garrett had no choice but to fight back. There is.
reason a man at the wall wouldn't sell his own mother for the right price. <laughs> you two are up to something. Some deal you worked out. Or he's defending you for... for some reason I can't fathom. That's impossible. Finn can't stand me. Because you're a fucking squire who thinks you're better than everyone. Enough! Garrett killed the man of the watch. There's a price to be paid for that. Let's go. But what about John? He I can knew stick it was up a for me. To make you a ranger. Rosfinger. What's to be done with him? We're heading to Crusty. You'll have to find someone else for your expedition. Your man here still has a lot to answer for. Now out of the way, Snow. Give us a moment. Then kiss him quick and be done with it. Garrett. I know you said you couldn't promise anything, but this... What happened? I thought you were smarter than that, Garrett. I thought you were gonna be by my side at Crestus. But there's no coming back from this. I know I did the right thing. That's all that matters. Rip did to your family. Anyone would want him dead. But now you'll have to face the consequences. This is John, such I'm bullshit. Sorry, Garrett. There's nothing more I can do. We're down a man to keep your eyes open. Wait, does Frostfinger nice know one. that he killed my family? Seems even your mother's abandoned you. Won't be alone for long. The axe man will find you soon. to say when I'm by myself. I need someone to bounce off of. You have to vacuum and empty it twice. Wait, vacuum what? Your lunch? Finger that I killed a man when I came to the watch. Jon Snow might have told him. I hope he did. But then again, Jon Snow knows nothing. You're not very knowledgeable, Jon Snow. Still a bit fucked. No, you had to vacuum the floor because you stepped in scrambled eggs. How did you do that? Do you know how many? Or at least you think it was. Okay. False tales of my dragons. Desperate men, hoping for wealth, protection. Liars, every one of them. And I expect you are no different. You don't want to see what I do to liars. Then maybe you should get to know me better. I'm not like those other men. You sure look like the rest of them. Covered in dirt. And the reason you had to empty it twice is your flatmates are refusing to empty it when they use it. Oh, not, and you're just putting it in your own rooms. Be oh. nice. Okay, I will try and be nice. I thought you'd seen a dragon before. Your reaction says otherwise. Is Sarah? It's all right. He's uh, he's much smaller than the other one. <laughs> but also be brave. Okay. Would you like to touch him? Go ahead. Unless you are afraid. Of course, a man who has really faced a dragon before may have reason to be afraid. Go on. Not a good idea. I'm inclined to agree with her on this one. He won't fight. S 
up. You're brave at least. <laughs> I don't think he likes me. You still have a hand, don't you? You claim you saw Drogon. Give me a reason to believe you. I told you I've heard this story before. I'm going to need more than that. You're asking for proof. Will that be a problem? My friend is the Burns to prove me. It's likely to leave a scar. Your dragon did this, Your Grace. Well, he wouldn't. You must have tried to fight him. What have you done to him? If you hurt him, hurt him. He, he attacked us. Drogon wouldn't strike without reason. You must have scared him. He is not some kind of thoughtless beast. He's only a child. <laughs> A child who can breathe fire on whoever he likes. He wouldn't harm anyone. The men who were following us, the Lost Legion, they drew their swords and tried to fight him. And Drogon defended himself. So we somehow deserve to be burnt alive because your little baby was scared. Your tongue is dangerously sharp, Selsword. Why did you come here? You offer me nothing but lies. To what end? You want gold? A title? My undying gratitude? What do you want from me, Asher Forrester? My little brother was murdered in front of his family, and our youngest is still held against his will at our enemy's house. What is it you expect me to do? We need to hire an army. An army? If you could spare some of your soul swords, please. If I also came here looking for an army. But what I found were the cries of children and people suffering in chains while their masters profited from their misery. My soul swords This is all sad and all, Khaleesi, but get that to fucking Westeros where the rest of the plot is. These are people who have suffered for years without end. I would only need a few men. Those who follow Croft could come with me. The rest are yours. They are all mine. There must be something I can do to convince you. Fuck off, Viserion, or whatever the fuck your name is. As we speak, my men prepare to enter Marine. What they are about to do is much bigger than you or I. Bigger than one family back in Westeros. So, unless you think you can storm Marine and free all the slaves yourself, you have nothing more to offer me, Croft. You may leave. Oh, that's but it. Your Grace. See them out. We're not just cell swords. We're the best damn cell swords in Slaver's Bay. <laughs> I know a few who might disagree with you. His boasting aside, they were two of my best fighters. And Beska here, she has a history in Marine. Malcolm, you twat! What the hell? Is this true? <sighs> yes. I lived in Marine for a time. On the eastern side of the city. Fucking bastard. So you wish to accompany them? You'd help the second sons. Guide them into Marine. I can't, Asher. This could be our only chance. Is that what you're saying? You're really considering this? They could prove valuable. I can only speak Ash, for myself. Please. I can only speak for myself. I'll go alone. She's the one who knows the city. She will accompany you, or you won't be going at all. I believe that's more than fair. You two will join Croft and his men. Get them into the city. Help them liberate Marine, and I will see that you are rewarded. But your uncle stays here. If I find you've lied or put my men in danger. I understand. Good. Croft will get you settled in. It's going to be a long night. How did I handle that, Jinx? I'm sorry, babe. 
Look, I'm sorry it happened this way. As long as you get your arm, right? Best get. Get your armor patched up in here. Extra bed rolls if you need them. Piss buckets in the corner where it's always fucking big. Time she gets dragged in either way. Yeah, I know. I'm um, in my main. I spent in my first playthrough, I I called her out on it because I, I forgot now. she doesn't want to be there. Don't fuck this up for me, Asha. She at least can't blame me directly for having to go back to Marine. Yeah, I know. To be practical. Don't let her let herself go. Why? Got the best of grip last I did let herself go the first time. Oh wait. Do you think wait, I, I'm, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm You'll be angry. Ha. Huh. Alright, we'll see. It sounds like you prefer if Roderick stayed down in the mud. No. But Griff You're actually still making lunch because you had to clean. Oh, okay. Next time I face Griff, it will be the last. I won't let him parade around my halls any longer. I look forward to it, my lord. But you won't win a fair fight. You can't handle a sword like you used to. So find another advantage. Surprise your opponent. Do something unexpected. Like what? I'll show you. Come at me. Come at me, bruh! Ha ha ha! See, that's oh, awesome. Oh, Half sorting. Can we do that to someone in this game? Will Just bash them across the head with your hilt and cross guard. Because half sorting is a fucking awesome technique. Shit! Okay, it's the wrong button. Let's try that again. Let's try it again. Half sorting! Oh, that's how you do it. <laughs> Think you let me? Oh. <sighs> My lord, sorry to interrupt. Elena. Yeah, Elena's here. On seeing you immediately. Lady Elena, I hear we're to become sisters. Talia. Roderick. Can I speak with you? Privately. I love her accent. You remember my little brother? Quiver! Good gods, you've grown. You could just call me Arthur now. I hope you don't mind us coming unannounced. Not Something's at happened. All. I didn't know what else to do. Maybe this was a bad idea. I've missed you, Elena. <laughs> I've missed you too. Truth be told. You're the only one I can turn to. Lord Whitehill paid my father a visit at Rillwater Crossing. He told my father you were disobeying Griff's authority and... And he wanted to teach you a lesson. As if I'm some token to be handed around. You mean... He demanded I end Albatrothal and this marry is his bullshit. son, Griff, instead. What? Lord threatened my family. Told my father if he refused, we'd be slaughtered along with you. Father acted the damn coward. He agreed, Roderick. I am to marry Griff Whitehill. Mm. That arrogant, pig-eyed prick. I still can't believe Father agreed to it. Lena, we're in this together. I won't let this happen. I knew you'd help, but my father won't listen. I'm not going to be the bone they throw that howling dog. I'm not going to be some prize for him to rip open. Kiss her, you fool. Exactly. We have to get rid of him. Yep. I can't think of any other way. My father won't see reason. Lord Whitehill's made up his mind. And so have I. Talk like it's as simple as walking up to him and putting a knife in his heart. He's protected by a garrison of his own soldiers. 
We have a way around that. soldiers I command father's elite guard these men are trained archers swordsmen <coughs> experts in both ranged and close combat they're yours if you'll help us take down Griff the whole guard 20 men my father still thinks they're aboard a ship bound for the reach what do you have to lose Roderick Griff has been a nightmare for you and your house you can't have any reason to keep him around. But they've still got He's my brother. Both of us. Why he'll still have my little brother? If I hurt Griff, there's no telling what they'll do to Ryan. I understand your worry, Roderick. I don't want Ryan hurt any more than you do. I know this might sound mad, but it's the only way. Get rid of Griff, and you'll be free to use the guard however you like. You can finally take control of your house again. Please promise me you'll do this. I love you, Roderick. I don't want Griff. I don't want any of this. Will you help me? I would be happy to. If only Kara was Thank here you, to see Roderick. this, but... Griff won't even see it coming. My men are yours to command. Thank you, Griff. Arthur. Could you give us a moment? You don't know how much this means to me. To us, I should say. Maybe when this is all over, we could play oh. hide and seek in the grove again. Ah, uh, yeah, that's, that, 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 that's what it is. Forget all that's happened. Hide those last and few seek, years. eh? <laughs> I love you, Helena. I love you too. Elena won't from get that. Oh, I bet she won't. <laughs> Damn it, Kira's never here for these bits. For the romancy bits. She's only here for when I'm going insane. Brothers, right. Blood white elf. Hey, my outfit's different. That's not suspicious at all. It just stops talking Blood and just stands stock still as a gold guard walks past. King's Landing. He's definitely up to something. Something big. But I don't know what. Well done, Tom. Did you hear anything else? Lord Whitehill is surprisingly secretive. The only people I'm even certain he deals with are those ironwood merchants. They'll both be at the feast after Tommen's coronation today. Maybe you can learn something. Sweet. I can't go. Time for stealthing. Marjorie's... She's not exactly happy with me right now. I've been uninvited. Aww. Couldn't Sarah help? Ask her to get you in. Yeah. She'd do it, right? Don't handmaidens look out for each other? We are friends. I'm sure she'd help if I asked her. It's a good plan, then. It's nearly time. Just be careful, Lady Mira. King's Landing seems to have it in for you. Yes, it does. Mira does not understand how to do the sneaks. She's not as bad as Cersei, though. Why? What does Cersei do? What sneaking does Cersei do? I don't remember. Unless it's in the latest episode, in which case, don't tell me. Guard this one. 
locked him up in the old storeroom until morning. Not the one who killed Britt. He's not going anywhere. Come on. Now you'll be back before anyone notices. All right. Maybe just a quick... Also break. help Sarah. He's likely to freeze to... Jinx, you're acting as though I haven't played this episode already. Oh, well, time to look at everything. Oh, wood's rotten. This is all bloody useless. Probably covered with fleas. <laughs> Just you don't care if I have my political skills suck. Well, I, I did help Sarah the first time. The I'm not sticking around to use it. Onions and crab apples. At least I won't starve to death. If I ever find a way out of here. That might be useful. Yeah, there's a hole in the wall. Oh, I'm not getting out that way. Aw. Oh. Don't know what I expected. <laughs> but there is this. Garrett! <gasps> it's Carter! What are you doing here? I heard him talking. He had to be executed in the morning. What about Finn? He told Nobody them. Nobody believes him. Or don't want to. They think he's covering for you. Some are even saying he helped you do it. I have to get out of here. That's why I came. I want to help. Well, you'd be executed too. Why would you want to help me? I told you my secret. And you said you were my friend. Well, what kind of friend would I be if I left you to die here? So I'm getting you out of here. I don't want to hear any complaining. You're a good man. You know that. Don't go singing my I don't know if I'll be able to finish this before the cleaners get here. I want you to take me with you Lame. to the north. I guess road. I could do what little is you know left I can't in like stay here. the time I'm that they're here. Black, but I'd rather not go it alone. So if you're going north, I'm coming with you. Well, I'm not going anywhere unless I can get out of this bloody storeroom first. I can try and pick the lock, but I'm not sure it'll work. What are you doing? I'm getting out of here. Because this is how physics works. I can see it. It is coming loose. I'm going to try to push it out. You pull, all right? Is this took. I remember this taking fucking forever, the fir this episode taking that. forever the first time I played it. Hey, can you fit through? I think. Sorry for the sudden bail, but you'll have this on while straightening your room. That's fine. And I just realized you're back on your other account. Well, welcome back, Kiara. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> well, Kier, you missed a romance bit because you always miss the romance bits in this game. You're only here when I'm going insane. Take lessons. This is how you stealth. Shit. Fuck 
you two idiots lucky I'm not frost finger. Thought you were being sly, eh? I figured you'd try something like this. It worked, didn't it? Finn, it's not safe to be seen with us. Then good thing I brought this. Now, let's go. You're not coming with us, Finn. What are you on about? Frostfinger already thinks I'm helping you. What do you think he's gonna do when he hears you've run off with potato fucker over here? I'd rather take my chances with you. And I'm good in a fight. So the potato fucker. Yeah, good at starting them anyway. You'll need another blade at your side. Three's better than two. Admit it. You're not coming with us, Finn. I'm asking Garrett. Having another ranger along couldn't hurt. He stabs you in the back. We'll talk later. Move! Be nice to Finn, let him come. I did. There's no turning back now. We're deserters for sure. We are deserters. We're breaking our vows. I've taken plenty of oaths. Broken plenty too. You wish those we could grab more food. Shit. There'll be a price on our heads. My family back home is counting on me to put things right. Yeah, but all we've got are the onions. And I mean to do it. Vows aren't going to stop me. They know we're gone now. Then how fast can you run? They all look like zombies. Zombies. Yes, this bit. I think you know what I'm gonna do, Jinx. Roderick! There you are. Lady Forrester. What's wrong, Mother? It's Griff. He was arguing with the Maester and things got out of hand. I'm coming. What do you mean to do? This could be our chance. He's right. We must hurry before things get violent. He's gonna see what happens when you harm a member of my family. And mine. The rest of my men are still in the grove. They could be here in minutes. Make sure they're ready to do it. won't let you change your name color. Sounds Why? Like it's time. pink now. Let's go. One second, let me take a look. Yeah, it's pink. It works. I'm, I'm looking at it. You would suggest no. not harming him to that point, but it would fall. Of course, it would fall on deaf ears. Listen for my signal. I'll strike my cane when I want you to enter. We'll be ready. Yay, Kira's pink again. I'm coming with you. It's not safe. You should wait for your brother. I don't care if it isn't safe. Griff thinks I belong to him. I need to show him I don't. Together then. You forget, Jinx, that I've already played this. I've I've done this before. Yo, 
You're right, I don't. But I'm gonna do this. If you want to watch a nice playthrough, go watch like Hannah or something. What are you doing with him? You're supposed to be marrying you. Gotta go. All right. Thanks for stopping by, Cookie. You See ya. Bloody tongue. Or I'll give you what I'm giving. Have a maester. lovely day. You too. Excuse me. Let the maester go, Grin. Not until he's learned his lesson. He's disobedient, just like you are, Roderick. So now he's paying the price. Oh, my hand. Don't you. <laughs> You're a piece of shit, Grit. You know that. Oh, you got quite the mouth on you, Roderick. You know what I think. My brother is ready. I think you need another lesson in humility, just like you, Maester here. <laughs> you know like? <laughs> then you'll see who's the man. Who's the cripple? <coughs> Actually, I think it's your turn. I don't think so, Roderick. <laughs> Fucking, you're dead, Roderick. No, no. He is not the Lord. Fucking take him. <laughs> forever Roderick and when they're gone I will see that you pay for this shut up <laughs> <laughs> is that it oh you want more you think you can hurt me is this the man you'd rather have this cripple I think he wants more okay dear <laughs> Nope. <laughs> Believe me, but not at the cost of Ryan's life. Besides, he may still be useful to us. It's all right, Roderick. Confine the white skills to the cellars. No. <sighs> Frighten you Not again, Kira. 
Kill the ravens. I would go to the doctor, but it took an arrow to the eyeball. I used to be an adventurer like you. Then it took an arrow to the eyeball. Yeah, but the order was kill anyone that moves. But like, they all have arrows pointed on them. Fuck you and your it's only two guys now. holding on to Griff. As long as you're in my camp, you will obey my orders. And getting pissed drunk before a mission. Okay. You know what kind of ship brain fool does that? One who wants to fucking die out there! Have you lost your damn mind? I am not some animal in a cage! What in the seven bloody hells are I you talking I will not let about? you bark orders at me! You think that you laugh is kind of throwing off your, my lock. pitch? What do you mean? Like, for singing, or just laughing? Or speaking? I'm confused. Like you think I'm too drunk to fight? What the fuck what do you gonna do? <coughs> when are they swinging a fucking car? Ooh. Oh. Still think I can't fight? You fucking bitch! Oh, there we go. There's the asshole I remember. Hey, come on, Veska. Leave the poor Let man. Let go of me before I break your pants. Deal with your friend. She'll Politically. Kill. Well, scared. fuck politics. This is bloody important. Are you afraid your mother will spank you? I will not let you two fuck this up. Are you up. looking forward to it? Mind your own business, Croft. You don't need to worry about us. Just take care of this. Because if she can't hold it together, we're leaving without oh, okay. both of you. Well, to be fair, I haven't done it in a while. Can take Marine all by itself. Ha ha! What the hell is going on? You gonna lecture me too? Ah! Okay. I forgot about that. No shit about anything. None of you two. You can't let him get to you. You're better than that. It's not just him. You think I give two shits about what Croft has to say? You're fucking uncle is the only reason I'm even here. He told your little dragon queen I would go into Marine with you. You brought me here. Just talk to me, Veska. We're done talking. Come on, Asha. Hit me. This was a real fight. You'd be dead. Do you want to help? Come on! All right. Is this what you want? Alright, it feels a bit quiet to me. I was a slave. Here. <coughs> in this fucking city. <sighs> Should I turn the game audio up? I was taken from my home when I was only three years old. When I was seven, my master threw me in the fighting pits to die. It's fine, okay. Good. When my master tired of watching me kill animals for sport, he started. He started sending other children. I butchered every one of them. I. After a while, I thought the fear was. A notch or two up wouldn't hurt. Okay. Where is it? Here it is. It's at night. Why is it at 19? Uh, let's bring it up to 23. Oh god, I need to charge my headset. But then that'll fuck everything. Oh, actually, that doesn't matter because I'm not using the headset mic. So give me a sec while I plug my headset in.
someone bring you a glass of water. I would love to, Kiara. I wish I were there with you right now. One second. <clears throat> there we go. I love you more, Kiara. Always. Okay, hold on. Right, playback, headset recording. This. And. Yeah, done. Sweet. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, hold on. <coughs> Great, I have to quit the game because unplugging my headset made this a piece of shit. Oh, wait, I think I see the problem. Settings, audio. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay. OBS, what the fuck? Great. Alright, I have to quit the game. And then start it again. And that's not working either. Oh my god, OBS, you piece of shit! I don't even know what to do now. As you know, I'm I'm tired. We'll do we'll do the rest of the episode next week. It, I'm, it's not gonna be it's not gonna be finished today. There's no way I'm gonna make it today. So yeah, we'll we'll call that a stream for today. Sorry, Kiara. I know you just got here. Oh. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hit that follow button if you did. And uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, like, favorite, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys next week when we do the rest of episode 4. Because OBS is a fucking piece of shit. Goodbye.